So does higher octane fuel give you better fuel economy? There's a great debate raging online. Lots of people are fervently and passionately arguing. Some say that having higher octane fuel does improve your MPG. Others point out a fact that higher octane fuel allows the engine to burn more fuel so it can't possibly be more economical. What's the truth? Why is there such a raging debate about high octane fuels and fuel economy? We're going to do some myth busting of the myth busting that goes on and just give you the facts so you can make an informed decision as to whether you should use high octane fuel in your car and whether it will give you better fuel economy. <laughs> So a bit of a news flash to some of you this one. The internal combustion engine is only around 20% efficient and that's on a good day. So you're actually wasting 80% of the fuel you put into your car. So where's it all going? Well, it's disappearing through heat, friction and other losses through the transmission of the car. So in terms of the energy that was originally there in the fuel and how it's delivered to the wheels, there are substantial losses and smaller engines are less efficient than larger ones. So Manufacturers have devised many different ways of getting around these problems and producing engines that are ever more efficient, approaching that legendary 20% or even trying to exceed it. One of the methods used is to have high octane fuel, which resists knock. Now knock or detonation, knock is the sound that you hear when detonation occurs in the engine and we mustn't confuse it with pre-ignition. So pre-ignition is where the cylinder pressure builds up to such a level that it ignites before the spark plug would normally ignite it. And that can cause the piston to move in the wrong direction, potentially really messing things up in the engine. But detonation is far more subtle. So when an engine combusts, you want a nice clean flame front pushing down on the piston. Now with detonation, you don't have that clean flame front. So with knock or detonation, part of the fuel mix ignites differently to the rest. So instead of getting a nice clean flame front, you've got two or more explosions going on within the cylinder and the forces are pushing in various directions and it makes that distinctive knock noise that the engine sensors pick up on and then it will retard the timing and back off the fueling and just help things to run more smoothly. Please let us know in the comments what your thoughts are on this subject. If you've experienced detonation or had problems with certain types of fuel, I'm sure that many of our viewers will appreciate your comments and it'll add to the wealth of knowledge that we can put out there so we can all make informed decisions when it comes to choosing suitable fuels for our car. Got a little favour to ask, can you just drop us a like and please in the comments let us know what car you've got, what your plans are for it, what mods you've got and what your experiences are. It really helps us to get out there. We're a very small channel so we really appreciate the feedback from our viewers. So running an engine at higher pressures makes the engine more efficient but there are limits when it comes to how efficient you can get the engine to be. So it's certainly something to be avoided. So manufacturers have got a whole series of mechanisms in place to detect engine knock and prevent the problems that happen from it. And one of the things that really aids the prevention of engine knock is having a higher octane fuel. So don't make the mistake of thinking that higher octane fuel contains more energy. It doesn't, it's just more resistant to engine knock. So yes, high octane fuel does allow the engine to burn more fuel. Because it's resistant to knock, it can chuck a lot more fuel into the combustion process. It can run those pistons at much higher pressures without the problem of pre-ignition or detonation. So does that end the debate? High octane fuel allows you to burn more fuel so it can't be more economical. Well, it depends a lot on the engine that you've got. So if you have a modern engine, it's a turbocharged car with a fairly high compression ratio. So in order to meet a lot of emissions regulations, most manufacturers have moved towards higher compression engines with direct injection and they're operating at quite high pressures. They're specifically designed to utilize these higher octane fuels. So if you put a lower octane fuel in, it's not working 
as efficiently or as effectively as it would if it had the high octane fuel. So as you can see in this graph, premium fuel makes about 23 horsepower more. The upshot is that when you're driving, you tend to hit power around about 100 RPM sooner than you would have done on the lower octane fuels. So if you adjusted your driving style and stuck with the same power figures, you can achieve that at much lower RPMs. And we need to bear in mind as well that this engine is now more efficient than it was. So you're extracting more of that energy from the fuel that you're using and that's how you get a fuel saving when you switch to pump fuels. So does higher octane fuel give you better fuel economy? So yes if your car is designed to use high octane fuel you will get better fuel economy just because your engine is working more efficiently. It's extracting more energy from the fuel that you've got. Obviously, if you've got a very heavy right foot and you're exploiting it and enjoying that extra power at the top end, you're not going to experience better fuel economy. You're just going to experience a lot more performance and power. Um, my personal experience, I've tended to have Audi engines and most of them have been turbocharged over the years, including a diesel. And I've always noticed better fuel economy when I add it. I did lots of calculations because I'm a bit of a nerd and I really want to make sure that I spend money very, very wisely. And I worked out that the extra cost of high octane fuel is offset by the extra miles that I would get out of a tank. So that's obviously assuming that I'm driving at the same speeds and I'm utilizing the extra power at lower RPM ranges because it's there. So the car's going just as fast. I'm enjoying just as much power as I had before, but because it's high octane fuel, I'm getting better fuel economy. Please let me know in the comments what your experience has been. We need to know really what car you've got, what engine it's got and how you've got on with high octane fuel and whether it's made a difference for you. So to answer the debate, it depends very much on the engine you've got and whether it is designed to use high octane fuels. So hopefully that's put a few of the myth busting myth busters to bed and it's given you the information you need to make an informed decision on this subject. And if anyone debates at the pub as to whether high octane fuel gives you just more power or better fuel economy, you can actually give a detailed explanation and show that there are things to take into account before you make such a sweeping statement. So I really hope this video has been useful to you and interesting. Please share it, please drop us a like, it really helps us to get out there. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.